Hello everyone, Etta here and Bugs. We are here to show you um, my our pre-order haul from Pharmacist's Daughter. Um, I think we, I think we did the order in July. I think I could be wrong. I I don't really remember when it was, but I think it was July and it came in this past week and it's just kind of been sitting here on the side i hadn't had a chance to um go over it with you and do the video i did open it and i did technically already sniff everything because i wanted i was anxious i wanted to see what everything smelled like so <clears throat> i um i did want to part of me wasn't going to do a video because i had already sniffed it and i had kind of put it to the side but then i thought let me just go ahead and do it anyways um, because I did, uh, Kim and Ansley did do a video yesterday um, on live on Facebook and Instagram and they talked about some different things and I kind of wanted to um, reiterate basically what they said and um, because I'm there's probably numerous people who maybe missed the video and not that you'd be watching mine um, necessarily if you miss theirs but um, you know I thought it was a good opportunity to maybe reiterate what they said and um, kind of put that out there um, I thought it was a very good learning experience um, some valuable information was given um, there there was some question and I had the same concerns um, when I got my order I saw that the pour date was listed as 827 for everything and I, I thought that was kind of strange I thought that there's no way you could have poured everything on 827 um, and I, I think a lot of us probably had that thought you know um, it didn't really matter to me what day they poured it that that's not really what was the important thing for me and um, I I don't completely rely on poor dates but I do in the sense of and I this was my thought is um, basically what they said is that they they use for purposes to make life simpler for them and I totally understand this is that they used um, the last day of production I believe it was like maybe the maybe the last day that they actually poured or something right before they were going to get everything ready to to ship out they used that date um so in essence if something did get poured on 827 it would have that date on it and anything poured prior to that at least it wouldn't say you know you wouldn't have something that was poured on 827 that says poured 8 eight five or something like that right so I, I understand that and you know maybe for simplicity purposes because they have so many labels to make I, I get that that's you know that's the way they want to do things I'm fine with that um, I've said before that I like to um, let my stuff cure for a month I think some vendors may need a little more some maybe need a little less but rather than try to figure out okay this person I need to do this many weeks this person this I just do one month for everybody and it that makes life simpler for me um, and okay so for instance if it says poor date 827 I'm not gonna go okay 927 I can start doing it right generally I think okay if it's if it's in August, I, I even tend to skip September because if it's, you know, if it's 8-4, then yeah, okay, 9-4 is when I would be ready. But if it says 8-25, then 9-25, I don't want to think, you know, September. So I kind of skip that. So long story short, um, my suggestion, this is just my suggestion, um, I would rather, instead of having an actual date because the the 27th maybe isn't as important to me as August right August of 2021 um, because if it says August then unless it smells ready to me in sometime in September I'm probably gonna wait until October that way whether it was poured at the beginning of August or the end of August if I wait till the beginning of October I am assured that it's at least a month right so me personally I would rather just see 
August 2021, September 2021, whatever, like that. But that's just a suggestion. I don't know if that would work for other people. Obviously, they're not going to do what I want, right? It has to be what's best for them and customers. So that was just something that was brought up was the poor date. And another thing that was brought up was somebody had had a question about um, little holes in the top of the bags of the loaves. And I personally hadn't noticed that they were there, but um, in case you missed the video, they did say um, that they were going to be changing the bags. Um, I think more so to, for customer service kind of thing, basically, you know, to so that people wouldn't have any concerns about the little pinholes. Um, but just to kind of, give a little more information. I have no idea about the pinholes, but I had seen another vendor post on their, um, I think on their site or something before that because of all the shipping delays and stuff like that with COVID, this was a, this was a couple of months back that they had run out of their regular bags and that in the meantime, they were going to be using the ones that have the little pinholes, but that it, it had no bearing on the performance of the wax is what they said. Um, so just to say that there was another vendor who didn't think that that created a problem for the wax. Um, of course, it's your wax and if you don't want it to have a pinhole, so be it, right? Um, so I just wanted to let you know, okay, so they, they did um, address poor dates I had a suggestion. I probably should have said it during the video, but I didn't think about it right then and there, but that's just my suggestion. Um, if you missed the video and you didn't hear about them changing their bags for the loaves, um, I just kind of wanted to put that out there in case you didn't see it and you happen to notice the next time you order that your loaf doesn't have a pinhole and you think, oh wait, what, you know, what was wrong with the last bag? I got a pinhole and this one doesn't have it they just are going to be changing the the bags. So, and then they also mentioned that they were going to be having a very nice um, sale that was going to um, happen on Labor Day. I can't remember the time. I wish I could. I don't remember. I'd have to go look on their Facebook group to see what time it's for, but it's uh, going to be on Labor Day. And I think anything that might happen to be left over will continue to be in the sale area but it seemed like it was going to be a really nice um thing and they weren't going to be posting like what sense because there could have been like one of this one two of that one and it's just you know not feasible for them to do that so i just kind of wanted to you know give the little touch points of maybe what they talked about in the um in the video and they did talk about some samplers that might be coming up in the very near future so that's more to look forward to so i just kind of wanted to talk about that and i've already talked for eight minutes and now i'm going to tell you what i got in my pre-order that came in so i'm going to start with the soufflés i did pick up a few scents in the soufflés and let's see i got um bff and bff has amber blush boom boom type seagrass and sand dunes you'll if you've watched my video for videos for any amount of time you know that i gear towards manly scents and then probably earthy and things like that i'm not a huge bakery person i don't mind bakery just my nose doesn't seem to want to smell bakery so i you're probably going to see more manly kind of stuff Ooh. I get um, probably the most for me is seagrass and sand dunes. Hmm. Um, and I, just to go back to the poor date, just because I'm still thinking about that. I think my thought was, let's say some of this was poured on 827 and some of it was poured on 85. I can't tell because they all say 827. When I go to warm something, I'm going to judge it based on how well it performs right whether i'm getting a good scent throw or not um and because it says 827 if they all say 827 if something was poured on 85 and i don't know that and i warm it thinking it's ready 
And one of them is just stronger than the other, right? The 8.5 is stronger than the 8.27. And um, I'm going to think the 8.27 is just weak because the 8.5 did fine, but I think they're both from 8.27. So that's my reasoning for thinking I would rather just say August 2021 as opposed to an actual date. I'd rather... Then at least I think they were all poured sometime in August and I will judge after that when I think I should start warming them, which we probably should do anyways. But I think uh, those that do put pour dates, we kind of rely on that. So just some extra information and I'm going to stop talking about that. All right, the next one I got is Hole in One. And this one's got zucchini bread, blackberry jam, and jelly donut. And uh, I, I found that I love zucchini bread, so I wanted to get that one. Ooh, I really get that zucchini bread. And I think I'm getting the jelly from Jelly Donut more so than the, well, it could be the blackberry jam because it, does, it doesn't just say blackberry, it says blackberry jam. It smells really good. I like zucchini bread though. Um, for a bakery kind of thing, I find zucchini bread more savory and my nose will pick up more savory bakery scents. Uh, next one I picked up was Beans and Cream and it says Coffee House marshmallow sweet and creamy coconut shortbread cookies and i've heard a lot of great things about this scent um again i did sniff these before i'll tell you what there's actually been a change since i sniffed it two or three days ago and in the positive direction actually because when I first got them, and I'm being, I'm just being honest. Um, when I first got them, my first thought was, it may do much better when it's warming. I have, I've had many, many scents, you know, from, let's say Scentsy, because that's what I generally do. Um, I've had many that on cold sniff, I have thought were horrible. Um, and I always think of gingerbread hugs because it was part of a collection. And from that collection, I thought it was the worst smelling one in the bunch. And when I warmed them, it was my favorite in the bunch. So I, I don't, I don't always like, I may have an opinion about cold sniff, but I never... I never solidify my opinion about something until I have warmed it. So when I smelled it a couple of days ago, my first thought was their coffee house is not my favorite. Um, I, I found it a little too, maybe a little too bitter or something, but I don't, I'm not getting quite that same smell today from it. Um, again, I'm not going to truly judge it until... I've warmed it. It may, kind of like gingerbread hugs, it may turn out to be absolutely fabulous for me. But Cole Sniff, their coffee house isn't really what I think is a really good one, right? Not for me. Um, okay, the next one I got was Oak and Apple. And that's uh, Mac Apple and Vanilla Oak. So again, I, I love apple scents and I like earthy, right? So like woodsy and stuff like that. I do like that. And I, I would have almost thought that the Mac Apple was going to be overpowering because it's a pretty strong oil. Or at least every Mac Apple I've had has been very strong. But this one seems very well balanced. Um, I don't get like, I mean, I get the apple, but I don't feel like it's taking over. I can smell the vanilla oak with it. Uh, okay, this one I have gotten before in their, oh goodness, is it wave bars? I think they call them wave bars, I'm not sure. Um, I've gotten several of this one in their wave bars and I almost got a loaf but I was like, well, I already have like several of the wave bars. I'm like, let me just get a souffle just to kind of get a little more. And that is Manish. And that's sage, bergamot, leather, driftwood, and rosemary mint. And again, I, I have several of the, 
I think they're called wave bars, cloud cakes. I'm not sure what they call them, but I think they're wave bars. Um, I've had several of this one and uh, I, I love it. That rosemary mint just comes out. And of course, like I said, I like manly scents. Um, so when you put things like leather and driftwood and, and I love mint, mm, this is one that I could just keep smelling and smelling and smelling. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, what's the other one? There's another one that they have that has the rosemary mint that I got several of when I got Manish. It's not coming to me, but I love that one. Absolutely adore it. Uh, oh, I got a second one of oak and apple. And these are the same color. I don't know if they're the same. No, these are two different ones. Okay, this one I had gotten also before in one of their like ready to ships. And I truly like the way it smelled on coal sniff. Um, it hasn't made its way into rotation for warming, but I liked it so much on coal sniff that I thought, well, let me get another one in a souffle. And that is cut loose, foot loose. And that's seagrass and sand dunes, which was in that first one that I did. Uh, bamboo, sugarcane, and citrus. And yeah, I like that. I like that combination. It's kind of kind of different. Um, I like different though. I definitely get the bamboo sugarcane. I like it. I think it's gonna warm nicely. Um, I definitely like the way it smells on cold sniff, so I wanted to get a souffle of it. And then this one, oh my goodness, definitely has scent notes that I think sound wonderful, and so I had to get a souffle of this one. I, I didn't wanna get a loaf because I was getting some other loaves and I needed to cut back somewhere, right? So I only got a souffle. And that was Ski Lodge. And Ski Lodge has fir trees, spearmint. I love spearmint. Fir trees, spearmint, and shaven a haircut. So that to me just sounds like it screams Etta's kind of scent. And yes, it does. I definitely get the fir trees. I don't get too much spearmint, at least not on coal sniff. I think I get like fir trees and maybe, maybe like some sweetness from like shaving a haircut. And obviously leaning on the manly side, but I don't get like a cologne scent from it at all. Not at all. But that fir tree smells really good really good this seems like something really nice um for like christmas time all right then in the rest is loaves and let's see those are my custom ones so i'm gonna do those last um and then the ones the other ones that i ordered make some room here all right this one uh my friend megan had gotten i believe probably in a souffle before and she was raving to me about how great this scent was and I needed to try it and so when the pre-order stuff came up I remember Megan texting me and saying hey did you see boyfriend is on the list so I was like all right so I got a loaf based on Megan's recommendation and so boyfriend has Himalayan sea salt jasmine bergamot siberian forest and peppermint ah it's about to fall out my hand and let's see i know i smelled it but i'm trying to remember because i smelled so much that now i can't remember manly with a peppermint that smells good um I don't know what Himalayan sea salt necessarily would smell like, except for maybe giving a slightly saltiness to the scent. All right, so keeping it from being like overly sweet, let's say. Balancing out something else. Because um, jasmine can be 
pretty sweet, I think. So the Himalayan sea salt mixed with the sweetness of jasmine would probably kind of taper off that. Um, bergamot. Siberian forest. Truly, I pick up mostly on cold sniff. I pick up peppermint. Um, and then everything else seems to blend together really well that I can't, I can't necessarily pick out the other notes individually. Let's see, what's this one? I love the colors. That one was a very pretty pink. And then this one is a yellow and I love the color yellow. Uh, oh, and this one is French lemon tart, which is another one that people were raving about on the Facebook group when the list of pre-order items came up and people were like, ooh, French lemon tart, French lemon tart. And again, if you've watched my videos for any amount of time, you know that I adore lemon scents, lemon and lime. So I was absolutely gonna pick that one up. So it says lemon chiffon, pie crust, French custard, and lemon sugar. Now, if it weren't for the fact that it was a lemon scent, I probably would have passed or maybe just gotten a souffle because with pie crust and French custard, I would have thought, okay, too much bakery. I'm probably not gonna smell it. I'm not even gonna, not gonna bother with it basically. But the fact that it's French lemon tart, I was like, yeah, I gotta get it. So I got French lemon tart. And I do remember opening this one and thinking it was great. Yeah. Love lemon scents. I don't know when this was poured, but if it still needs to develop more, I really, 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 really hope that it gets a little more tart. I love my lemon to be tart. I've I've said in other videos, don't put sugar in my lemon. I like my lemon to be extra tart. Now, obviously they don't make this for me, so, but it smells like it would be on the tart side. Although I get some sweetness from the lemon sugar. And I've obviously stuck my nose and my face into these bags a little too much. I've got, I can tell that my glasses are all dirty. They're all smudgy. Let's see if I can clean that real quick. Just because it's driving me crazy to try to try to look and I see this big line in front of me. That's a little better. All right, let's see. Like I said, I, I did pick up quite a bit from the um, pre-order. I have two more loaves here and then my custom loaves. So let's see. All right, this one. Oh, this is another one that my friend Megan told me, hey, you need to get this one too. So I got this one too in the loaf. And that is Shiver. And that is Icy Peppermint and Ezra. Now I have no idea what Ezra is supposed to be, but um, I can say that, uh, well, Megan and I say that we're like scent twins. We tend to like a lot of the same scents. Every now and then there's something that one of us doesn't like that the other one does. But so when she said you need to try that, I, I knew that I needed to try it. And um, yeah, she was spot on with both of them. Golly, love that. I love that. I, I'm trying to think of what Ezra is. Because I'm definitely getting something besides peppermint. Almost earthy. Man, I could feel the, the icy peppermint kind of going down my throat from smelling it like that. Oh my gosh, that's good. I like that. That's definitely, for me, that's like a after Christmas to the end of January kind of thing. So it doesn't matter when it was poured. It's definitely going to be cured by the time I, I do it. Um, oh, and then this one, which also had definite scent notes that I was very interested in, and that is Cozy Cabin. And that's got Icy Peppermint, so more peppermint, Cracklin' Birch, Love Birch, and White Birch and Vanilla, so more birch. And then I guess the vanilla probably just to kind of blend, sweeten, Trying to remember what this one smelled like. I know I liked it. That part I do remember. Yeah. 
This one, I don't get the peppermint as much. At least not on cold. Oh, wait. Maybe so. Okay. The very first sniff, I didn't. But the second sniff, I do. It's well balanced, though. It's not um, the other one. I really could pick up that peppermint big time. I smell it perfectly well here. It's just not one of those where it's like going down my nasal passages down into my throat kind of thing. It's just I smell peppermint. And I love the way it mixes with that birch. And the crackling birch, is that meant to mean that it's kind of like, you know, been in a fire kind of thing? It smells beautiful. It really, really does. I like that one. Um, trying to remember, there was, um, I think in the last order, there it wasn't Cozy Cabin, it was... Oh, can't remember the name of the scent, but I, I absolutely loved it. Let's see. There's some samples in here. Let me do those real quick, too. Three samples. Not that you could see that there was three in my hand, but there was three. Uh, one is called Not the Basement, and it's a jack-o'-lantern. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure if these are more from the um, Halloween... Um, sampler basically that they're doing the 31 day advent um they had sent me some in the last one and they were really good i don't remember if not the basement was in there although i think it was it smells good i'm trying to think does it have mint or am i just like picking up mint because of the last two that i smelled had mint in them i think i'm getting mint not sure, but I think I'm getting mint. Could be my mind playing tricks on me at this point, but my glasses still feel funky. Um, ooh, okay. So the other one I had was zucchini bread, blackberry jam, jelly donut. This one is jelly donut zucchini bread. So I'm thinking it should be slightly similar to the other one minus the blackberry jam. And this one, I think, um, maybe because the other one has blackberry jam, this one, the zucchini zucchini bread kind of is a little more pronounced. Mixed with the sweetness of the jelly donut. I kind of think I like that more. I love blackberry jam, but the mix of the three, because the proportion might be that there's more zucchini bread in this than there was in the one with three cents, not sure. That's just my guess. Um, I think the zucchini bread comes out a little more in that, and I, I like that. And this last one, this one definitely had to have been from the um, 31 Day Advent, and that's Cadaver. Because that sounds like it would be a Halloween name. I get a very earthy kind of scent from this. I have no idea what was in Cadaver, and I have no idea what's in this. Although, I kind of feel like I get a little green. No clue. I would, I would absolutely be guessing. Absolutely just be guessing. I don't know. It doesn't smell bad, just I have no idea what's in it. All right, so the last thing should be my three loaves. Um... Let me pull this one out here. This one I named. Um, this one I named bold and beautiful. Now, again, she had the um, zucchini bread, blackberry jam, uh, jelly donut, which is hole in one. I had a souffle of that, and I personally, I, I hadn't tried it because I was, I just ordered it, right? Um, but I know I like zucchini bread and I, I was thinking, I think I'd rather blackberry jam over jelly donut. Although now I'm starting to think I might have liked jelly donut more, but they, they're going to pour what you ask for, right? So um, black, um, blackberry jam, zucchini bread, and coffee house. Now again, on initial sniff, I... I kind of thought maybe their coffee house isn't necessarily my coffee preference, um, but let's see. I'm gonna I'm gonna sniff it again. So there it was bold and beautiful 
coffee house zucchini bread blackberry jam and this this was my first experience with their coffee house so i just figured i was gonna love it and again i still might on warming it it might warm and it may turn into my one of my favorites i i already have currently a favorite and again kind of like the other one it it's like its scent is already starting to develop a little more as it sits here. And you know what? I just thought about the pinhole thing. Oh, there's the little... I don't know if you could see it. Probably not. I'm going to put my finger nail right. I'm trying to... I don't think you could see... No, I'm, you probably can't see that. But it's, it's a very small hole. I... I don't think I'm going to have it in the bag like long term. And I guess if I planned on holding this until next year, eh, I could just double bag it, I guess, if I was concerned with that. But I, I can understand somebody's concern, though. I mean, I can. Uh, let's see. Where's the next one? Okay. This one, I was a little more familiar with what I thought it might come out smelling like. Um, this one I named He Warms My Heart. And it's a combination of hipster and zucchini bread. So I I have hipster at home that I've bought from another vendor. And I had a, a sample of zucchini bread that I had from another vendor also. So I had taken some of my hipster and zucchini bread and mixed it together. Loved the way it mixed together. So I was like, all right, I'm going to get a loaf of that. So he warms my heart, hipster and zucchini bread. And hipster has so many scents in it. It has coffee. It has tea. It has um, manly scents in it. It it just has a slew of stuff. And uh, I thought it would mix well with zucchini bread. And I thought it did, actually. Yeah, I still like it. Because zucchini bread is so rich and luscious for a bakery and then all those different notes in hipster i like it i like it a lot all right so i'll be probably me personally early october i'm gonna chop that loaf up and start using it and then the last one um is actually kind of a collaboration i would say between myself and ansley because i uh originally had i think three cents and i asked for a little help right i wasn't sure um that i was that the cents were going to go well together right not having all three cents i couldn't test it ahead of time to see if it if it would blend well so i think originally i had graphite type november rain and i think pink sugar i think and i was like i'm not really sure if it you know if they'll go really well together and ansley said that she would suggest white clouds i think over the pink sugar so given that she has the oils there right and she can smell them and she works with blends also i thought okay well she probably she probably has the right um opinion right so i was like all right i'm gonna go with that so that's what i went with and it's called dancing in the rain now before i go through or whatever um i am gonna say that it is spectacular it smells of of my three customs i actually think it's the best smelling one um, I think it's phenomenal. It's technically not what I wanted, but it's phenomenal, right? So I'm just being honest. Um, would I get it again? Absolutely. I think it smells really, really, really good. But I would put it in the fresh category. And my original plan, which is not her fault, because it's not like I went into big old detail when I asked the question. My original thought was I was trying to get a manly slash lady, like, a, you know, manly cologne with a lady's uh, 
perfume mixed with like the rain, like they're dancing in the rain. You could smell the man and the woman, right? You know, I love manly scents. So that's what I was going for. I didn't say that in my post. She had no way of knowing that's what I was trying to do. So when she suggested White Clouds, which was another one I'd never smelled. I had never, actually, graphite type I only know from Bath & Body Works. I'd smelled it there, so I knew what that smelled like. I had no idea what November Rain smelled like, and I had no idea what White Clouds smelled like because I'd never gotten them in anything else. So when she said that she thought that would be the better choice, I went with it. So it did not give me the manly scent I was looking for, but the fresh scent that it does have is phenomenal. It is phenomenal. So in all that, I wanted to say thank you, Ansley. I truly appreciate the fact that you suggested that, but I did want to be honest and say that it, it didn't produce what I wanted, but it did produce something that's beautiful. So, yeah, I mean that, I guess the white clouds is a very fresh scent. And then you've got the, uh, I guess the aquatic of November rain. Again, I've never smelled November rain. I don't know what it's supposed to smell like, but it, it comes across as fresh and, uh, kind of like almost laundry kind of scent. I would, that's what I would put it in, in a category. I would tell you that it's a fresh laundry scent. And it's beautiful. I, again, from the three that my were my customs, technically this one smells the best. <sighs> mm. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. But lesson learned for me is I guess if I want that kind of thing, I better say I'm trying to get a manly scent. <laughs> Maybe that would have worked better. But I do like it. It's fantastic. I don't don't want to get anything. Uh, I don't want to be misunderstood what I'm trying to say. Anyways, uh, that is everything I got from the pre-order. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you got everything that you wanted. And again, I would just a suggestion if instead of putting the actual date, if you put the month and year, I would be okay with that. I'd love to hear from everybody else if you could, if you could leave a comment as to whether you like that idea. Maybe you don't. You know, you might say, nope, that doesn't work for me. I want to have a date. Uh, that's just, you know, that's just my opinion. But I think if, if there was a consensus, I don't know, maybe they would consider that. So um, again, don't forget um, on, is it the fourth? I don't even know, whatever, no, the sixth, tomorrow's the sixth, right? Um, Monday, Labor Day, holiday, they are having a sale. It's supposed to be a very good sale and um, I hope to see everybody there. Just try to leave me some stuff, okay? <laughs> So until then, enjoy your weekend. Have a great holiday weekend. Um, I'm probably going to post this for Monday morning. So hopefully you'll see this in time to know about the sale. Um, and But I hope that you enjoy your holiday if you have off. Not everybody does. There are many industries where it doesn't matter what day the holiday is. Businesses run 24-7 and they have to be at work. So I hope that um, you have a great day whether you are off or whether you have to work and until next time enjoy your sense enjoy your day and enjoy your journey talk to you later bye